Over the course of this past week, we've got the news that there are now 188 aged care recipients who have passed away this week, a further 12 today who are in actual aged care facilities. There's been active cases of over a thousand residents and over a thousand staff. But in response, the work that has been done in Victoria, over 400 residents and aged care facilities have been transferred to hospitals now, with the aged care response centre playing an active role in more than 300 of those cases. And this includes the transfer of a further 14 residents this week. The response centre has facilitated communication support for seven aged care facilities with 859 outbound calls conducted to families of residents, including 682 inbound calls received since the 23rd of July. OSMAD has deployed 24 members to Inter Victoria who have made 61 visits across 41 aged care facilities to date. They have been assessing existing procedures and boosting infection prevention and control measures, including the use of PPE. 61 facilities have been clinically screened by the Australian Defence Force and Western, and Western Health, with an additional 10 being visited today, making 71 COVID-free facilities that had their infection control bolstered. In addition to two existing teams already assisting Victoria from South Australia, a further team, two teams of six personnel from Queensland, I understand from Townsville, thank you Townsville, and Western Australia were deployed this week to support workforce and aged care facilities. And these teams are nurses, personal care workers, hotel services. 30 staff from Allied Health Services were trained yesterday at Monash University as residential aged care safety officers to support staff in higher risk facilities and safety facility operations and PPE compliance. 20 Australian Defence Force staff are today being trained in PPE usage and compliance and we deployed to facilities next week. More training sessions will continue in the coming weeks with the support of the ADF. Overall now we have more than 1,700 Australian Defence Force personnel on the ground in Victoria supporting testing, supporting police control points, supporting contact tracing and community engagement and door knocking, supporting planning logistics and supporting aged care response. And a team from the Aged Care Quality and Safety Commission is on the ground making daily visits and delivering unannounced on-the-spot checks on appropriate PP usage and infection control procedures. There will be more. This will continue. New things will be added. There will be additional activities, no doubt. And I fear that we will still see things that will occur that we will find absolutely unacceptable, and they are unacceptable. They don't meet those standards, and they're not tolerated by anybody. But the struggles we face and the complexity that is there means that those things have occurred and we are doing everything we can to prevent them from occurring wherever we can. There will be no lack of commitment or effort, but guarantees in a global pandemic, if someone's offering them to you, then they're not being straight with you. So I'm going to be straight with you. That's where we're at. We're moving heaven and earth as a country at the moment to ensure that we can deal with this. And we're in the fight and we're going to win it. It's just going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Paul. Uh, thank you, PM. So the, the latest numbers I'll just share with you today. So we're up to 22,739 uh, uh, cases of COVID-19 now in Australia since the beginning of this pandemic, those first cases in January. And really sadly, 375 deaths. And uh, as I always do at every press conference, I just give my condolences to those people that have lost, lost loved ones. Um, these are just numbers to some, um, but uh, they're not to me and they're not to the PM and all of the people working on this understand uh, what that means, losing a loved one. We've all had been there. Um, so 375 deaths uh, today, uh, 680 in hospital. Many of those are, uh, most of those are in, in Victoria and many of those are related to exactly the response that the PM has outlined there in, in terms of what we're doing with our aged care um, residents. There's 47 in ICU, 31 ventilated. I, I just really want to stress today, as the PM has done, that we're, we, we are learning as we go uh, through this process. It doesn't mean we haven't got a plan. We do have plans. We have very detailed plans uh, for aged care in particular. And since the very beginning of this 
uh, of this issue uh, even before it started in Australia. We've been meeting uh, virtually daily. We've had over 170 meetings now of the AHPPC. On almost every occasion we've talked about aged care and the particular issues of vulnerable people uh, and particularly in the case of our aged uh, members of our community.